economy, 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 as uh, what was it, James Carville said James in Carville. What was it, 19, uh, nine, yeah, James Carville was at 1992 with Clinton said, is the economy stupid, right? That's what yeah, this whole thing is. Nobody better yeah. positioned than uh, Alfredo Ortiz. The recent consumer price index and what it means, what do you think? Look, John, I mean, things are not getting better for the average American worker, the average American consumer. Inflation continues to go up, even though the rate of increases slow down. We're talking compounding impacts from the past years of super high inflation. And so, for example, overall, things are up 20 percent. It costs twelve thousand dollars more for the average American to have the same standard of living today as he did under the Trump administration. Gas prices are up, you know, 30 uh, percent. In some cases, you, you know, you see uh, electricity is up, rents are up, insurance rates are up. I mean, every single aspect of our lives of the average American consumer is up. The elitist on the coast, they don't care. They don't feel it because they're not actually bothered by it. They're not impacted the way the average American is. I just want to... Uh... I just want to emphasize this because the Biden administration is gaslighting America. They keep telling you over and over and over how great the economy is, how great the jobs market is, how great your 401k is doing, how stocks are up, how the economy is phenomenal, how they, you know, crawled out of the pit with COVID. But yet nobody is feeling that. And that's why the numbers for Biden on the economy have tanked. Why do they keep saying something that's just people don't feel it? Like, like tie that together for us, Alfredo. Look, John, the bottom line, the Biden administration, from Joe all the way on down, thinks or hopes that the American public is stupid. I mean, that has to be really what it comes down to. And guess what? We're not. Because we feel exactly the impact of what's going on on a daily basis when we go to the grocery store, when we go to the gas stations, right? When we write those, those rent checks. I mean, we feel it every single day, right? So they can say whatever they want, but the American public is a lot smarter than that because they feel it in their pocketbooks. And so, and I think the American public is sick and tired of hearing these lies. I mean, just because I say, you know, I'm, I'm six foot five, blonde, blue eyes with a six pack, as much as I can say it to you, you're not gonna believe me because it's not true. Except for the six pack. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true, that's true. I, it's right? going to an eight pack now. That's true, except <laughs> eight pack, eight pack. <laughs> Let me let me ask you something. Uh, the the inflation and job numbers came out the other day, and a lot of the job numbers they come out and then they get they keep getting uh, what is it called the revised down over the next yeah, six yeah. months. This this been going on forever with our labor statistics, so that's just a lie. But they came out, and the Biden administration was just you know beside themselves saying, "See, here's proof of how robust the economy is." Uh, yet when you go to the grocery store, it's a disaster. When you get gas, it's a disaster. Yep. Rents are higher. You can't buy a house. This is what people are feeling. Tie this together for us, Alfredo. Yeah, so, well, first of all, those job numbers are just really a bunch of BS, John. Um, you know, they're, they're using what's called an establishment survey, um, which doesn't take into account a lot of things. And Actually, if you look, uh, you know, at the range of estimates of how many jobs were actually overstated last year, it's somewhere between 700,000 to over a million jobs. Um, in fact, you know, Bloomberg even said it's about 733,000 jobs to be specific. And so these are overstatements that happen every single month because guess what? Joe Biden administration, they get the headlines. Oh, jobs are doing great. And then they move on and then the restatement happens two months later, right? But that never gets reported by the establishment media. And so we need to make sure that we actually look at the right numbers. There's something that's called a household survey, which I'm not going to bore you to details, but it takes into account those people who are working, for example, two jobs. It takes into account people who are you know, self-employed. I mean, this is the reality of the American consumer, right? These are the people that we're talking about that are feeling the pain the most, and this not even being reported, right? Or it's being reported on a false basis. But John, even if you take it at face value, what they're reporting, half of the jobs that are being reported are basically government jobs or quasi-government jobs in healthcare. 